<laughs> hey guys, are you interested in having a YouTube channel but you don't know how to start it? Oh, are you ready to start up your YouTube channel? Were you waiting for the right equipment to start? to grab the bull by the horn guys because I am here to give you guys some tips on how to start and grow your channel anyways I'm Florabest a content creator here in Nigeria precisely Portacot City I post content on signing culture in Africa tourism lifestyle fashion and I also share some wonderful unique food recipes on this channel so this is your very first time here you're very much welcome why don't you just smash that red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification bell so you always get notified when i upload a new video don't forget to share this video with your friends and loved ones so you can be part of this channel but if you're already part of this family you're welcome back i love you so without wasting much of our time Let's dive right into the business of the day. Welcome back guys. Like I said, I am here to share with you some wonderful tips on how to start and grow your channel. Yes, you hear me right. How to start and grow your channel. One thing is to start up a channel and another thing is to grow that channel. So here I'm going to give you some tips. So grab your notepad and take down my tips as I go. But mind you, whatever tips I'm going to share with you here today, we are tips I actually adopted that worked for me. So some of my viewers, subscribers were like, oh, Flora, can, could you please share us your tips? No? Can you please share us your tips? How you started and grew up your channel within the short period of time? So that actually gave birth to this video I am making today. So now, let's go. Are you ready? Tip number one. What is my channel made up of? is tip number one that means what kind of content do i want to post on my channel guys you need to figure that out first before you do any other thing you need to know the kind of content you want to be putting up on your channel for instance you want to go into uh culture or you want to go into uh, maybe daily vlogs you know or you want to go into makeup so you need to write those things down okay this, these are the things i want to be uploading on my channel so once that is done that takes us to step number two guys which is channel name yes you also need to have unique name for your channel depending on what you're doing what you're going into but if you're finding it difficult creating a name for your channel just like i when i was about to start i was like i was trying to figure out the kind of name i'm trying to figure out what name to give to my channel but at the time i was like okay let me just come up with something i think i should use my name so if you are in my shoes and you're finding difficult finding difficult to to give a name to your channel i will advise you use your name. like the name of my channel is my thing so once you figure that out you've put in that now that takes you to step number three yes guys step number three which is content ideas video ideas guys i will also advise you have some video ideas before you start shooting before you start record you start filming it's very important like when i started for instance okay here is my here's my daughter when I started, for instance, I had to, I had to put down some uh, numbers of, uh, I had to put down some video ideas I want to make. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it here. I have to put down, uh, okay, here. These are the list of video ideas I wrote down. And uh, here I have up to 34 video ideas. The reason for this is that as soon as you start 
female, you start to record it, you don't run out of content. I have seen some persons on YouTube. They post a video, for instance, this week. And before you see them post up another video, put another video again, it's gonna take like the next three, four, five, even six months. That is not because they don't want to fail. But the reason is because they don't have any video idea. So that is why I will advise you guys, before you start up on your channel, put down some video ideas. By the time you start shooting, you won't run out of video idea. That is just it. So now, this once this is done, you are almost set to go. So let's go to tip number four. Yes, tip number four, which is equipment. Equipment, guys. This is the main deal. A lot of persons are asking, what kind of equipment do I really need to start up my channel? I'm going to give you a list of equipment you will be needing for your channel. Equipment number one, digital camera or a phone with a good camera quality. Equipment number two you will be needing is a tripod stand. Equipment number three, you need a mic for your audio. Then equipment number four, you need a laptop computer or a desktop computer for editing. Then equipment number five, you need lighting. Very important, guys. So now I'm going to break this aspect for you. This aspect of our equipment, this equipment aspect, I'm going to break it down for you. Now, talking about camera. Some persons will say, I don't have camera. That means I am ready to go into this YouTube thing, but I don't have a digital camera. Don't worry. All you need is, if you have a phone that has a good camera quality, then you are good to go. You can either shoot using a digital camera or using your phone. Like for me, I started, this is the phone I'm using. I started, when I started recording, my first two, three recording I did was done with this phone, guys. So that means you can actually film with your phone. It mustn't be, it, it mustn't be with a camera, a digital camera. So now let me go over to the next one, the next item, which is tripod stand. Yes, you also need tripod stand to enable your camera stable, either you're using your phone or your digital camera. When I also started, I wasn't really having a tripod stand, but I was like, okay, what do I do? Let me, how to start up with this. This is a mini tripod stand that I used with my phone. So guys, I got this tripod stand for as low as $6.5. So you can also afford this tripod stand. So that's for that. So now, Let's go over to the next equipment. I said, as I mentioned earlier, equipment which is mic. Guys, you need a mic for your recording. Yeah, but you can also shoot without using mic. You can also film without using the mic. When filming without using the mic, make sure your voice is audible enough for your audience to hear, for your subscribers to hear you. That is all you need. So now, the next thing I made mention of is a laptop computer or a desktop computer. Yeah, you might say you don't have a laptop computer or a desktop computer for editing. So that means you can't go into recording. You can't start up your channel. I'm here to prove you wrong because you can actually start up your channel, film with your phone, edit with your phone, and also upload using your phone. So now you have seen that you can actually use your phone to do all you need to do. So that takes us to the next one, which is lighting. Here, I'm here to announce to you that we have two kinds of lighting. We have the natural lighting and we have the artificial lighting. The artificial lighting goes has to do with the ring light. You want to record, you have to put on your ring light or something like this. Like I, this light you're seeing here is small but mighty. I use this light to record wherever maybe I'm recording and probably the place is a bit dark. So I can just use this light. I got this light from Amazon so you can also get that too. So now, 
So when you're talking about the natural lighting, guys, you can shoot without using the artificial light. All you need to do is shoot in a place that is open, a place that is bright, and your picture, your video will come out very well. So guys, from what I've said, I've discovered that you can actually shoot using your phone, edit using your phone, upload using your phone. So practically, uh, you can start your channel without digital camera. So I'm not saying you shouldn't use digital, you shouldn't make use of digital camera. You can do that. So, or why you're waiting for your digital camera to arrive, then you can start recording with your phone. Once you've gotten your equipment, guys, the next thing you need to do is start recording, which takes us to tip number five. Start making your videos. Yes, once you start making your videos, the first video you should make is introduction to your channel, guys. Introducing your channel to your audience. Introducing your channel to your viewers, to your subscribers. Letting, your, letting them know what your channel is all about. What to expect from your channel. That should be your first video, which is intro to your channel. And once that is done, this takes us to how to grow your channel. Guys, I just finished talking about setting up your channel. The next thing is how to grow this channel. Some persons set up their channel for a period of like one, two years and they are still struggling to grow. Like two days ago, I was watching a video on YouTube and I came across this channel. For The channel has been existing for like two years and eight months and all they have is just 86 subscribers this is weird guys 86 subscribers for two years and eight months so it's really not healthy it's not a good one so now i'm going to take you guys on how to grow your channel how to grow your channel tip number six which is consistency yes guys you hear me right consistency you need to be consistent in the youtube community you don't post a video this week and another time you post a video is the next three months you post a video it's not healthy so for you to grow on youtube you have to be consistent in creating your content for you to grow on youtube you have to be consistent in creating your content if you decide for instance you want to be uploading content once every week stick to it let it be once every week once is that every week you upload but if you decide you want to be uploading once in two weeks stick to it that's talking about consistency so now the next tip on how to grow your channel tip number seven tip number seven which is look for people within your niche look for people that are doing the same thing you are doing for instance you are into makeup i will advise you look for channels that are into makeup subscribe to their channel watch their videos share their videos create a relationship create a close relationship with with them once you create this close relationship with them get to know them and once that is done i'm not saying you should spam other people's channel youtube France at it, this personal relationship with them. And after that, you can even go into collaboration with these people. That takes me to tip number eight. Tip number eight, which is collaboration. It will also help your channel to grow. Because when you do collaborate, when you collaborate with other people within your niche, it's going to help you promote your channel. It's going to help you move your channel forward. It's going to help your channel to grow. So guys, I'm going to stop here today. But my next video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to get your first 1,000 subscribers within a short period of time. So if you're still watching this video and you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that red subscribe button right now to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification bell so you always get notified when I upload a new video. Also, 
learn to share my video share my video with your friends and loved ones so they can be part of this channel flora bears remains with me be the best of you don't give up on your dream see you in my next video bye